so you find us on the bathing platform of the S62. Uh, and as you can see, this is a hydraulic, which is a, a standard feature on this boat. Um, now this can be used for launching of your tender, if you keep your tender on the platform, or jet ski, or even just for swimming off and retrieving divers, that type of thing, but a very useful feature. Behind that, we've got the um, hydraulic uh, garage. So in there, you can put your jet rib. Um, that's up to 3.3 meters. Uh, it will actually fit the William 345, which is a really good, big tender to fit on this size of boat, so a real bonus. Um, that obviously goes up and down, and on top of that, we have the sun pad to make the most of that space. Nice tow rail around the back of it to keep you nice and safe, and of course, a nice illuminated princess crown. Two good sized staircases up onto the aft deck. Uh, on my side, there is actually a uh, locker for your life raft. Uh, and then coming over onto this side, we have uh, access to the side deck, but also that third station uh, control. That's got your thrusters, uh, anchor control if you're bringing it in med style, that type of stuff. Um, controls for the lights, uh, uh, stereo control, and then the emergency bilge pumps are under there as well. Coming back onto this side, we have obviously the bar units, a uh, staircase up to that flybridge, uh, a locker underneath the stairs, uh, and then of course we have our seating area. Now, really nice uh, style, looks gorgeous. Having this stage, the side uh, entrance either side makes it rather um, interesting as well. I think it adds to the, the, the style of, of this whole area. Um, good uh, fold out table, so you can use it as an occasional drinks table or fold it out uh, and it becomes one of your main dining areas. Behind is the sun pad we, we discussed earlier. That's got raised backrests on it to keep your, your heads up. But also you can have this optional uh, sunshade above you. So that is uh, on an electric arm, they extend out. We've got some support arms that clip into that to keep it a bit more stable if it's a bit windy, but really adds to the whole usability of the area. Stepping forward past, we've got three bifolding doors there, or bifolding, sliding across doors. You've got a pop-up one on the other side into the dinette. So nice L-shaped seat in there, plenty of uh, room to, to eat. Um, you've got a folding table here. So this is shown with a leather top on it. Um, so it doesn't get you know, the ring marks if you're having drinks. Or it could completely fold out and you've got a main dining area. Um, underneath that is the two stools. So it gives a bit more versatility to the area. Uh, and they're stored downstairs next to the master cabin. Coming over to my side, this has got the worn-up floor, which is a really nice feature, quite practical as well, especially if uh, you're running outside, you've got potentially damp feet. Into the galley, fully equipped, uh, so plenty of storage for knives and forks, that type of thing. Underneath there uh, for your chopping boards, cooktop, uh, oven uh, and microwave integrated there, uh, and then again more storage. Behind me is your full height refrigerator uh, and freezer. Uh, and then you have the bar unit, which I think is a really nice place to stand, you know, entertain your guests, converge with the people outside, as well as the people uh, in the dinette, should you need them. Um, obviously, this can be closed if it's too hot or more like in England, if it's a bit wet and damp. Stepping forward, you've got one step up. That gives us our head height in the master cabin down below. Uh, and then you've got saloon and drinks area. Uh, nice, big expanse of seating. Uh, you've got a big pull-out drawer here. That's got your plates and well, as you can see, plates, sauces, bowls, all kept nice and neat out of the way. Um, again, one step up here, and that is a gain for your head height. As you go down the stairs into the lower accommodation, that gives you that full head height you need for your, your bathroom. Um, big windows, uh, good storage rocket on this side. So I'll just lift that up. Great place to put tablets, mobile phones, keep them out of sight. And then you have a, a wet bar entertainment area on this side. Leather topped, so again, you don't get those ring marks, similar to the dinette table. Uh, plenty of nice storage under here for your crystal. Bottle storage underneath there. And then you have a fridge, uh, an optional ice maker under this side, as well as your AV. Pop-up uh, TV is behind there, so press a button and it will raise up automatically um, out of the box. Coming forward, twin helm seats. These are fully adjustable. Um, so you can get yourself nice and up close to the, the wheel should you need to. And you've got a great commanding position, great visibility, both forward and of course backwards, so you can check uh, where you're going. Drop windows, they're on both sides, so letting natural air, but also to be able to communicate with your crew, uh, both forward and aft. And then a nice integrated glass bridge. So this boat has got twin navigation screens, um, as well as an engine instrumentation, in, engine instrumentation screen on that side. Um, as Gareth's going to go through a bit later, this boat is fitted with a Seakeeper as an option, and then your head unit for that is up here. 
as well as your control units for your um, autopilot and your tri data. Thrusters, uh, so balance down thrusters, throttle controls, VHF, everything you need. And then we've got all this light coming above us from the open hardtop. Now this is closed at the moment, so we're getting the light, but you can have the fresh air if you open that all the way up. But uh, generally a great boat, the S62, nice to drive, plenty of space for, for daytime cruising, and we'll see how great it is downstairs a bit later. So here you find us in the master cabin of the S62, and as you can see, it's full beam, as you'll find on most of our boats nowadays. Um, it's got those signature big windows, which is a big bit of glazing. Um, you can see the curvature, that's from uh, the knife windows, as we call them, which run all the way forward to the bow. It gives that really beautiful silhouette of the boat. Um, opening porthole, uh, and then behind me, you've obviously got the rather nice seating area. Uh, and then you can see the designers have really gone to town. They've got this lovely lighting feature. Um, lots of mirrored surfaces and textures to give it you know, lots of uh, space and reflection of light. Big uh, main bed, uh, master bed. Um, underneath here we keep uh, the water tank, uh, so it's at the lowest point on the boat possible, as well as pull out drawers. So things like uh, laundry, uh, linens, that type of thing can be kept under there out of the way. On the opposite side, obviously another big window. You can't really see it as well because we're next door to another boat, but um, the blinds are down to give you an idea what that's like, as well as the, the draw storage units uh, and then full height hanging wardrobes on the opposite side. Back over to my side again and we have a, um, as well as a, a storage under there, we have good pull out drawer here uh, for knickknacks, getting things out of the way. And then great size TV. Behind the TV we have uh, a standard, you have a washer dryer unit on the lower section. Above it, should you want to, you could have a, a separate dryer unit. Uh, if you don't have it, there's more uh, storage, uh, trying to make the most of every, every space. You may have seen on Bill's talk uh, on Koipal about how we're trying to make this cold moulded feature. So just worth noting, yeah, that's a nice worn up piece there that's been moulded around the bulwark, not bulwark, sorry, uh, uh, the side of the, the shower, it's behind there. Um, one step up uh, and then you have got your ensuite. So sliding door, so pocket door here to make the most of that space uh, and all the things you could you, you go associated with an ensuite medicine cabinet, big window, and you can have a heated tower rail should you want to. As you come up another step, and there's a good storage unit underneath here, uh, so you can pop shoes, dry goods, whatever you want to do, making the most of that uh, staircase. Into the foyer, plenty of light above me from those bridge windows, so floods this area, uh, makes it a real nice, uh, nice spot rather than a, a, a dark area as it was in the past. En suite for the forward cabin, but also your main day head. So all your guests can use this one should they want to. Um, it stops them using your area and keeps it nice and private for the master cabin. One step across, and I come into the twin cabin. So it's a little darker than normal on here because we're tied up next to a 72 foot boat on, on this side. But you can see that big window that does let natural uh, light into here and gives you that feeling of space as well as two opening portholes. Above that is more storage, so you've got a storage lock above me. Behind me is a nightstand. Now, these beds slide together, and you would, that nightstand is replicated on the other side, so you can still keep that storage and somewhere to put your, your drinks at night should you want to. Outboard is your control unit for your uh, stereo. That also controls a DVD player for the TV behind, uh, and again, there's pull-out drawers under both beds here. Moving forward, you've got full-height uh, wardrobe uh, for hanging, and then as I mentioned before, your TV on the bulkhead just here, coming out into this uh, forward cabin. Um, big knife windows going up forward to get, let again all that light in, storage above them, um, and really nicely decorated. You know, the, the, the dealer who's spec this boat has done a great job with their owner to, to get some nice colours. Behind me here is that ensuite, um, good sized shower. This is the Jack and Jill door, as we call it. So you've got two entrances, depending on who's going to use that, that room. Behind where you are is the hanging wardrobe. Uh, and then on my side, you have a, a nice mirror. And behind that, more storage, pull out drawer, be used as a vanity, uh, should you need to. Um, again, there's big windows, nice size bed, storage underneath here. And um, really is a, a nice place. I don't think any guests would be uh, uh, upset about spending the night in. So here you find us on the flybridge of the S62. Um, obviously the smallest, uh, as we said before, um, S range we do, um, but you're not being uh, compromised at all up here on the flybridge. Uh, nice staircase up from the aft deck, uh, 
good support ray around here to stop uh, any little ones going down or even the bigger ones, as well as a, a, a hatch to stop the weather going down there or indeed you know, to make it a bit safer if people are up here for the day. Um, good seating area, uh, you can get a good coming of, of guests around there. Undercover from the elements so you can protect yourself from the, from the rain, more importantly from the sunshine with this uh, optional hydraulic bimney. Now this is a lovely feature, press a button and it deploys itself automatically and then you've got a couple of stays that go back here, two more this side and then two more up the front so it's a real solid piece of, uh, piece of kit. Um, table can be foldable should you want it to be, this one's a, the fixed option. Uh, and then we move over to uh, the barbecue. You've got a drop in uh, cool bin there so you can put your drinks in there and not worry about you know, things falling out if you open a fridge, uh, if you've been in a bit of bad weather. And then the full sink barbecue, has got the Kenyan grill which is, I think I've said before, you can take it all apart so it's really easy to maintain. You can sort of take that off to clean and it's got a drip pan underneath and all that can go in the dishwasher should you want it to. Close that underneath, and underneath here we've got the bin. Now this has been painted, this boat is fitted with the allure pack, so there's a little bit of extra detail in. So you've got the paint on the wet bar, the helm's got some painted on it, and there's a bit more extra features on, on the upholstery. Stepping forward, again, like I said, good amount of space. You come to, as you know by now, one of our features is, is this day bed area. So you can have it as a, as a seat, as, as I am now, or you can pull out a, a GRP a plinth underneath here and turn it into quite a nice sun bed. So you've got a backrest, get out of the wind when you're running, talking to the guy or the lady driving the boat, and really enjoy the, the flybridge for what it is. Moving over to the helm. Again, as, as with all princesses, it's a real good commanding position. You've got great visibility fore and aft. Down that staircase, if you're bringing it in, you can actually you know, see where the transom is, and you can see all the way back if you're bringing it in backwards or alongside. Easy access to all your navigation. Complete glass bridge. So on this boat, we've got two Raymarine screens. Uh, you get one as standard, and you can have the, the second one should you want to. And then a full integrated uh, engine instrumentation on the, on the other screen there. VHF, your controls for your, for your navigation, and all your switches and gauges, easy at hand. Um, but lovely boat to drive, and as Gareth is, has said, or is going to say, you're powered by the, the V8 1200 horsepower MANs, so plenty of power, uh, and it's a, it's a lovely boat to drive, you know, it's well balanced, good, easy uh, grip for your, your throttles, nice visibility, uh, you can see all the people up on the foredeck, you can imagine being able to chat to people, you know, and even with the opening hard top, you can see people down inside the boat. Great boat, S62, be very popular for us and uh, very happy with how things are going. And if you want any more information on this boat, please get in contact with your local dealer. Uh, there's multiple boats around the world that you can, you can go and see. Thanks very much. So here it is, the engine room of the Princess S62. And here I am at the aft bulkhead of the engine room with the sole hatch to the cockpit above me here. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty of room around me here in the entrance way. Um, and there's plenty of room down between the two engines here for your morning checks and just general access uh, when you need to get down here for maintenance. Um, what can I say? Well, the boat comes as standard with the 1200 V8 MAN diesel engines and they propel the boat through standard shaft configuration onto five blade bronze propellers. Uh, you can also go for D13 1000 horsepower Volvo engines if you're not so concerned about that top end performance that the S62 delivers with the MAN engines. Uh, pushing 38 knots, subject specification on this boat, and it's a really fun boat to drive. One of my most favorite boats uh, in the range, actually, to, to go to sea on. Um, behind me here on the center line, we've got a 17.5 kilowatt generator. That's the upgraded generator on this particular boat. The boat comes as standard with an 11 kilowatt. Uh, people tend to go for the upgrade when they go for an air conditioning system or a gyro stabilizer. On each side of the boat here, you've got the fuel tanks that deliver diesel to the engines. So this boat's got a 3,250 litre capacity. There's a crossover between the two tanks, so you can easily manage fuel levels if for any reason you're running on one engine or you have to fuel from one side or the other, depending on where you're going to refuel the boat. On the forward bulkhead, we've got dual-plex fuel filters for the engines, which again, an upgrade from some of the smaller boats in our range and make uh, maintenance a little bit easier on the boat when, when she's in service. Um, fire suppression system down here is standard, like on most of our boats, with uh, automatic activation and a manual override in the cockpit as well. And you've got your two um, engine management control panels down here on the forward bulkhead as well. Um, behind me on the port and starboard side, you can see the exhaust mufflers. This boat's got the straight-through exhaust out the transom, which makes the boat a lot smoother and quieter when she's underway. Uh, and on this aft bulkhead here, 
You've got the 60 amp battery charger that charges the house bank and also the engine start bank, and that's all managed by a uh, changeover switch uh, as and when required. Below that, we've got DC power distribution in these two panels here, and just forward of both the exhausts, but after the fuel tanks, we've got stacks of compressors. This boat's got the air conditioning system fitted on board, um, and each area has got its own dedicated compressor. It's a split gas system, and this system's good for cooling the boat up to 40 degrees centigrade um, ambient temperature outside. Aft of the engine room on the starboard side, we've got an optional fourth cabin on this boat. So that can be used as a, an occasional crew cabin or a, a den for uh, kids or whatever you want to use it for. It's got its own independent bathroom compartment as well with shower facility, sink and head. Um, underneath the deck here where I'm stood, you've got access to your two bilge pumps and your seawater inlet and strainer housing for your air conditioning system. Everything's quite easy to hand for maintenance down here. The engines are handed, so checking the oil and the coolant levels in the morning is no big deal. Um, and on the side of the generator set here, you can see access to the strainer and your, your coolant check expansion bottle as well. Um, if you do want to have a Sea Keeper on this boat, we offer the Sea Keeper 9 for stabilization. That's mounted on the port side in a separate lazarette space underneath the deck to, to port of the garage compartment. Um, and that's also where the batteries are housed on this particular model as well. The garage on this boat protrudes just slightly into the engine room, as you can see behind me here, and that's good to accommodate a, a, a tender up to 3.3 metres. The hydraulic platform that raises and lowers on the uh, transmitter's boat is also standard, so that's a nice feature as well, being able to have your jet ski on your bathing platform and a good-sized tender uh, tucked away inside the garage as well. So well, that's it from me in the engine room of the S62. As I say, one of my favorite boats in the range to drive. It's a really exhilarating boat. When you put her into a hard bank turn between 25 and 30 knots, there's no better feeling. It puts a smile on anybody's face. Um, and she's just so well proportioned, this boat. Easy to handle being only 62 feet, but plenty of space and well proportioned throughout, whether it's engineering layout, accommodation layout, or that terrific flybridge uh, up on the top deck there.